right, welcome back to Cloninger's Garage. This episode, we're going to be looking at uh, using some IMR 8208. We're going to put that underneath some Sierra 77 grain TMKs and also some 73 get grain ELDMs seconds from Midway. We're going to combine this video. I'm going to apologize because this video is at a public range and it is not the best quality, but I want to post the video, give you the information and do the best we can. In the future, I'm sure we'll head back to the private range for these types of videos. Let's head to the range. And if you don't use them, I'll buy them from you. All right, here we are back from the range. You're going to see several different targets. We actually didn't get the TMK target filmed, um, but we'll come back and see if we can do that in the future. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to present what the target, I've got the targets here and we'll show them to you. We just didn't get the video of the actual target being shot. The first target you see being shot is this one down here. Had a six arc gas gun that I was sighting in. These right here are just some ladders to try to find velocities for a sneak peek on what may be coming next. I had someone in the comments recommend I use this. So I started a little bit there with this outing to the range. The next one is our ELDMs. Not too bad. 23.2 grains of 8208. It had an average velocity of 2782. This is out of the Tika T3X 22 inch barrel. Standard deviation was 19. Spread of 66. And not too bad. Not the greatest, but not too bad either. 
over here, 23.4 grains, average velocity of 2789, standard deviation of 20, and spread of 68. I have shot these better out of this same rifle with a different powder. Not sure exactly why this is not as tight as it was before, but you'll see with the TMKs, it tightens up quite a bit. And here with the TMKs. Now, I will say this. The range was about to call a range cold. And I wanted to be able to pull these targets down at that point. So I shot these just about as fast as I could pull the trigger. So anything that uh, is larger than what you think it might be, then that's probably just me shooting extremely fast. 23.2 grains of 8208, had an average velocity of 2789, SD of 20, and extreme spread of 68. Over here we had 23.4, average velocity of 2770, standard deviation of 25, and a spread of 104. This one actually started out pretty tight. I uh, probably won't be able to see it. I don't think we got that video. It was really tight right in here. And then as they were getting close to calling range closed, I let a few fly up here. Um, that's all me. I guess I should measure these a little bit. It's kind of deceiving what this target is. So let's look and see what we got here. So that's 1.6. in tight when I first started. So it was about 0.88, I was gonna say, to start out with. And then I really sped up towards the end there. Over here on this side, 1.6 there. The load that I had used in the past was 23.5 grains. Both of these are pretty close. I like this load, no pressure signs at all. It has actually a little bit on the mild side. I'm not sure exactly what the book max is because I have loaded up many of these at 23.5 in the past. Shot great, so I just picked a little bit below. You'll see from the latter test kind of where I got these two amounts here. Thank you for watching. Sorry this wasn't the greatest video when it came to the range time we'll take it back to the private range in the future get some better video there hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the information at least please like subscribe share hit that not notification button and come back to see us have a great day and god bless the usa